Who says we're playing hide and seek? <laughs> You'll see. Please just tell me. Oh, you blindfolded me, then you put me in your car, and then you take me to who knows where. Just tell me where I am. How about I do something better and I show you instead? Great. It's just the B&B. &B. You know, I just did whatever I could and made it as nice as I could in the little time I had. You did all this for me? No, for the other girl. <laughs> of course it's for you. So what do you think? I think it's perfect. It's just perfect. That's just the way I wanted it. Nothing less for the start of our new life together. And I know, I know you're still legally married to Fox, but that's only a minor technicality because he's not gonna come between us again. How does it feel now you're the joke, burnt flame and tongue? So many times I wish- Watch it, buddy. Is there any way to talk to an old friend? Spike. That's right, the one and only. Give me that. For the record, you and I are not friends. Yeah, that's what they all say until they need me for something. <laughs> but that's okay, Foxy boy. I don't take it personally, but uh, you want to get me one of them drinks? No, uh, I don't. Aren't you supposed to be in jail? Aren't you supposed to be a crane? What are you doing in a dive bar like this, Sir Foxworth? Shh. I don't want people to know that you know me. Damn, you know that's another thing I get a lot of? I'll tell you what. If you can keep your voice down, I'll buy you a drink. Cool. Bartender. So, Spike, that you were supposed to be in jail, don't tell me somebody paid for your bail. You first. What are you doing in a funky establishment like this? Well, genius, what does it look like? Oh. <laughs> Little woman got you, didn't she? Okay, now you. Okay, now that I got my drink, here's to ya. Arra, arra. Well, if you must know, I broke out. I'm an escape prisoner. <laughs> and do you think that nobody's gonna recognize you in your genius little disguise here? Let me tell you something, friend. Ain't no way I'm going back. There ain't no fuzz gonna catch me and take me back again because I am the Spike Man and I ain't oh, worried about that kind of thing. I think you might be a little bit late for that. What is that? Damn it! What's taking you so long? Just tell us that I'm dying to meet him. You stay right where you are. We'll be right in. Oh. Please come out. Honey, your father's here. He wants to meet you. I can't, Mother. I'm not fit to meet him or anyone. You saw what happened. When I get upset, I lose control. I even tried to kill you. My own mother. Mommy forgives you. It's just I, I hurt you so much, however unwittingly, and, and now I want the chance to make it up to you, okay? So you just come out here and, and meet your father and, and then we'll talk about the best way to get you some help, okay? But the most important thing for you to remember is that you're not alone anymore. I told you to wait. I can't stand this anymore. Where is he? Son, it's your father. Why don't you uh, come out so we can see each other? Son? He's nervous. Wait a minute, what is he? He's hiding in there? What is he afraid of? His crane cranes aren't afraid of anything. Son, why don't you, why don't you come out and show me what a terrific man you've grown into. I'm just, I'm dying to meet you. 
I wouldn't be so sure about that, Dad. Is she breathing? No. I'm not sure whether I should do mouth-to-mouth -mouth or CPR. Well, I'll take over the CPR. You do the mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Hey, is she breathing? No, she just stopped. God. What the hell happened here? Uh, I don't know. She suddenly grabbed her throat and started choking. Ch did she eat something? Uh, not that I know of. Just tea. You smell that? That's sort of sweet. No, some poisons give off a sweet smell when they're ingested. Did someone put something in her tea or what? Let's just agree to disagree about Louise. I'll go get us some tea, okay? I don't care what you say, Teresa. I will win Luis back, even if it's over your dead body. Die, Teresa, die. If she croaks, that'll make it a regular holiday in Harmony. She cannot die. She cannot die until I tell Ethan what she has been keeping from him. I've waited too long to miss the day where he hates her. Listen, I know that, that I'm not bringing in a lot of money right now, but I decided to start a small savings account before I was arrested. And now that I'm going back to work, I don't think it'll be long before we can put a down payment on a little house. Mm, it's always been my dream. <laughs> now, it's not gonna be a mansion, okay? It's gonna be small. I mean, probably smaller than the Crane living room, but the important thing is it's gonna be ours. Mm, it'll be perfect. Do you think we could have a little yard for Maria? Yeah, yeah, of course we can. You know, I was actually thinking that I could build her a small swing set. Mm. It'll be beautiful. She'll love that. God, I can't believe how close I came to losing you. Don't think about that. How can I not think about that? How could I have let myself be fooled by Fox? Forget it, pal. This one's not gonna recognize you. No, you don't mess me. You have seen me. Fox? Oh. Chief Bennett. The hell are you doing? And you don't have to call me Chief Bennett, okay? You're still my son-in-law. Not for long if your daughter has any say in things. Can't say I blame her. Is that why you're drowning your sorrows in this pit hole? Well, what better place? Join me. No thanks. Working. Oh, yeah. It's no secret uh, that you're not my favorite person right now. But I will hand you this. You're not half as bad as my other daughter's husband. Spike? Yeah. He escaped. This is one of his hangouts. You see him? Son, there's nothing to be anxious about. Open the door. What's the matter with him? It's just, it, it's an emotional time. Well, it is for all of us. He didn't react this way when he, he met you. Did you tell him something that turned him against me? No, 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 nothing like well, that. Then I just don't understand this. Son, open the door. Did you hear that? I think I did. Son, I'm coming in there. Oh, no. Don't run off. Wait, come, come back. Hey, son, is that you? Why did you run off like that? Julian, I wanted to tell you before you see it for yourself. Breathe, Tess, breathe. Come on. Uh, 
God, if she, if she ingested what I think she did, I actually know the antidote. Hey, the, the paramedics are here. Oh, thank you. All right, I gotta talk to them. I didn't even hear what she got to say. Hey, don't worry about that now, Jared. He might be onto something as far as what kind of poison's in her body. Okay, listen, they have the antidote, but it, it's gotta be administered in stages, and it, the first has to be inhaled. How can it be inhaled? She can't even breathe. I don't know. She's gonna die. Teresa! Teresa, wait, wait. wake up! Wake up, Teresa, wake up! Teresa, do you hear me? Wake up, wake up! I said, wake up! Ugh. Look, I don't have all night. Have you seen Spike or not? I'm sorry, I'm, um, I'm having a difficult time concentrating. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, I don't need you to lecture me. I wasn't going to. Just okay. answer the question. Have you seen him or not? No, I can't say that I have. Good boy, Foxy. Damn it. It's as if he's vanished into thin air. Probably wouldn't get that lucky. Yeah, I feel like such an idiot. I mean, you told me that Fox was faking his illness, and I didn't believe you. Well, don't feel bad because you believed it, okay? I mean, I understand that you couldn't imagine anyone would stoop that low. I mean, to fake that he was dying just to get you to marry him. You know, talk about being desperate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't blame you if you hated me. Look, stop it, okay? Everyone believed Fox. Everyone bought into that stupid scam of his. Yeah, I know, but I wouldn't be so mad at myself, but this wasn't the first time I didn't trust you. Okay. Now, let me get this out. I mean, you told me that you did not sleep with Charity when she was in town, and I didn't believe you. I'm sorry. I will never doubt you again. Do you promise? I promise. Well, then, I guess now is as good a time as any. Kay Bennett, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Mm -hmm. And you know I will as soon as I can legally end my marriage to Fox. It won't take long. Honey, we waited long enough. Let's just do this tonight. <laughs> you know we can't. Okay, we can't do it in a church or, or legally, but we can do it in the eyes of God. If you want to. I do. Okay, good. Because I booked us a justice of the peace. No, but you... no buts, no buts. Forget about it. Okay, he's... He's already here. Nope. I told him he did not have to get dressed up because it wasn't a formal affair, but he insisted. You're crazy. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice. I'd like you to meet my bride-to-be. <laughs> what? <laughs> he says you're an angel and that I'm a lucky son of a gun. So, you ready to get married? Very ready. <laughs> Julian, I tried to tell you. Oh, I see you made it here, Eve. Yes. Yes, Valerie, I did. I, I got your text message about meeting our son. Uh, which you apparently didn't send to me. Oh, I I'm sorry. Don't don't blame her, Julian. I did call you. I mean, you're here now. Yes, I'm here now, and my son is gone. I mean, can you believe that? After all these years, we finally get this close to meeting, he runs off without even a, hi, Dad, how are you? Always thinking about yourself, Joe. What do you expect? At least you got to see him and have a conversation with him. What happened in here? Oh, oh, Valerie, I'm so sorry. It, it, well, the meeting with, with my son, it, it, it didn't go very smoothly. Well, wait, was there some sort of, Violence? I didn't say that. I just said it. It just didn't go as comfortably or as easily as I would have liked. That's all. Our child blames me for a lot of things, and perhaps with good reason. Why? What, what? What kind of things? And you haven't told me anything about your conversation. And what does he look like? I think perhaps Valerie would like to have her house back. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to leave on my account. Well, Eve, what does he blame you for? For just what you'd expect, Julian. For, for being alone and for being abandoned from day one and for, 
for never having any support when he was in any kind of pain. You didn't abandon him. You didn't even know that he was alive. I'm his mother. I should have known, you know? I just should have known. Wake up! What the hell is wrong with you? Get off! He can have control of her! <laughs> She's breathing. <laughs> She's breathing. Thank God. Forgive me the editor. Breathe this in. There you go. There you go. I'm ready. I can't believe I'm going to say this to you, but thank you. Anytime. Just because she's breathing doesn't mean she's out of the woods just yet. We need to set up an IV drip. But she's got a good chance now. something to do with this? I, I couldn't have, but maybe I did. The blackmailer did say that it would save Luis and bring him back to me if I killed Teresa. <sighs> what happened? Hey, Teresa, don't talk. There'll be time to explain later. We should get her to the hospital right away. Right? Not yet. We want to give as much time for the antidote to get through her body as we can. thought that Ethan would actually thank you for slapping Teresa. Who would have thought that I would be so desperate to keep her alive? But I need her to live so I can make her life on Earth a living hell. You are my passion for life. For rich or poor, in sickness and in health, come hell or high water. Hey! That's not part of a normal wedding ceremony. Listen, and since when is anything of our relationship been normal? <laughs> uh, can we wrap it up? I'd like to start my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> I, Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald, promise to be the best husband I can. I don't know how I will ever become the man you deserve, but I promise I will spend the rest of my life trying. And I, Kate Bennett, <laughs> thank you, God, for giving me another chance with this man that I've loved since I was a little girl. And I've learned a lot by making a lot of mistakes. And I do mean a lot of mistakes. But now I know what love really is. And I thank you for Miguel. And I thank you for the beautiful daughter that he's given me. And I thank you for giving us this chance to finally be the family that we've always wanted to be. I love you. Rings, rings. Rings, rings. rings. I, I, uh, I don't have a ring to give you. I have a better idea. If I am marrying you in my heart, then I am definitely unmarrying Fox. You know, we will have our rings on our real day, but until then, we'll know how real it is in our hearts. Now I really love you. Ah! Aren't you forgetting something? You're right. I do. Do you? I do. <laughs> now? I can finally kiss my bride. You'll be all right. I've been there myself. Whether I want to be or not. Look, I better get out of here. It's unfair that our son blames you for what he missed out on. You missed out on being with him just as much. Yes, but I was an adult. I, I know, and he was a defenseless child. But still, think about this. This was not our doing. It was my father's doing. We didn't even know my son was alive, much less suffering through a 
difficult childhood. No, mothers are supposed to know these things intuitively. You and I are always telling each other that we did everything we could, but did we really? Oh, Julian, if you could just see the confusion in his eyes. Oh, uh, well, if he's confused, then he's just going to have to let us unconfuse him. I mean, if he needs therapy, a shrink, whatever it is, we'll get it for him. The past is the past. What is important now is the future. And I think he should be thanking his lucky stars that we finally found each other. I mean... He's luckier than most. He's a crane. I mean, that alone should be enough to solve any confusion. For some people, maybe. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Luis's execution's been moved. Again? He's scheduled to die in just a few hours. Oh, my God. Oh, poor Pilar. Horrible for her to... To know her son is going to die for crimes he never committed? I know it's very unlikely that Luis attacked Fancy or murdered anyone. No, he didn't do it, Julian. Our son told me. Our son told you what? Give her some room to breathe, guys. She's my wife. Step back, please. Once the antidote revives Guacamole Girl, you get to tell Ethan the truth, that she has been lying to him, that he is little Ethan's father, not Julian, and then Ethan is going to despise her. She's back, breathing on her own. Yeah, 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 for now, maybe. But I'll be back, and terror and tragedy will reign in harmony. I hate when this happens. Okay. I love you. Jared. I mean nothing to her. Now I have the enormous pleasure of sticking the knife straight in Teresa's mean little heart. got to be joking. This place shouldn't even be open. It doesn't deserve an A rating from the health department. Now listen to me. You tell the manager that he's going to be paid a visit real soon by the state health inspector, all right? And this time the guy's going to be a little different. Someone that you can't pay off. You got that? I thought he'd see me for sure. Damn. You were one lucky sleaze bucket, you know that? Oh, Foxy boy, that's not a real nice thing to say to me, is it? But thanks for keeping your big mouth shut. Hell, I guess I owe you. Hmm. I was thinking the same thing. And I think uh, I'm going to collect on it tonight. Tonight. Spike, I've got a job for you. Murder. I've waited so long for this. But we've made love before. Not like this. This time we can't get caught. Nobody can come between us. <laughs> this time, it doesn't have to end. I thought that other guy said he was the husband. What happened? You were poisoned. Uh, who, who, when? Uh, that's what we'd like to know. Well. It was you, wasn't it? No, Teresa, it wasn't Gwen. It wasn't Gwen. Listen, she was with me when we got the news about you. All right? But I can promise you we're going to get to the bottom of this. Fancy, is there any way we can get an investigation underway? Uh, well, they're not too crazy about me at the Harmony PD these days since I quit, but yeah, I'll do my best. Just, just 
Tell him Sam Bennett's son is calling for it, okay? Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Jared. Maybe I shouldn't have called Ethan, but I knew he'd want to know. No, it's not your fault. I just can't believe I thought she was over him. Look at her. She loves him now more than ever. They don't even know anyone else is in the room. I gotta go. Already? Yeah. Um, if she wants to know where I went, just tell her I had to go to the office to take care of a few things. Uh, okay. Call the hospital and tell them we're on our way. Uh, no, actually, I just, I, I want to go home. I'd, I'd like to see my children. In any poison case, we need to, you know, check you in at the hospital. Okay, I, I can, you know, have a doctor check me out at the house. You know, they can monitor me around the clock if that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't like it, but as long as you stay here while the rest of the IV is administered... We'll go call the hospital and tell them not to expect you. Teresa, I, I know you don't want to go to the hospital, but maybe you should. You'll be protected, at least. I don't know about that. You know, there are some things in life that even a hospital can't protect you from. Like, uh, like the truth. Listen, it's not like I value human life, but murder can be messy. Ah, uh, you ought to know. Hey, man, I didn't say I'd never done it before. It's just not my favorite way to spend an afternoon. And it's risky to boot. Risky. Once well, you saved your butt from Chief Bennett, I think that's worth a little bit of risk. I told you, I appreciate you keeping your lips zipped. Okay, Foxy one, but I told you I escaped from police custody, all right? They're looking for me. I'm sorry. Have to find yourself somebody else. You're not going anywhere, pal. It's one thing to have a problem with the police, but it's a whole another story when you got a problem with the cranes. You don't want a problem with the cranes, do you? I don't know. You want to go my arm? I didn't think so. I want you to kill somebody for me. And you're gonna do it. Understand? Eve, what, what did our son tell you about Luis? I mean, you're not saying that our son was involved in some murder. No. No, Julian, that's, that's not what I said. I meant... I meant that when I was talking to our son, I had this deep rush of maternal love that made me think what a horrible situation Pilar's is. Because she knows that her son is innocent of any crime, and yet she's powerless to stop his execution. Well, Baba, I, I, really, I still don't see... Well, it, it, it just makes me think of, of our child, and that... Well, he was a complete innocent when he was kidnapped. And then some evil person turned his world upside down, and, and now there are consequences. Well, I, I really don't see the connection, although I do feel for Pilar. I certainly don't fault her for believing in Luis's innocence, even though Sam Bennett has been unable to find any evidence that could spare his life. And the facts do point to <sighs> Luis's guilt. I mean, he was sentenced by the court. That entire trial was a sham, Julian, and you know it. Pilar's sons were railroaded. For some reason, that creep spike exonerated Miguel, but I am not naive enough to think that that's going to happen for, for Luis. No, unless someone comes forward in a few hours with something. How much more suffering can that family take? You probably won't believe this, but you actually have Gwen to thank for saving your life. Don't mention it. If she hadn't gotten you breathing, you might not have inhaled that antidote that you needed. Anytime. Hey. We were worried about you, Teresa. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she's gonna be okay. I still wish you'd go to the hospital, though. No, I just, I just want to get home. I want to see Jane and little Ethan. You know, I, I don't think it's gonna make any difference in terms of the investigation, so... Investigation? Sure. Someone tried to kill her tonight. Better believe we're gonna find out who. Oh. 
This one. With any luck, they'll be able to find some prints on there besides traces. You okay? Yeah. Uh, fine, fine. I, you know, it's just, it's been a long day. I, I think I'm gonna head home. Um, not yet, Sheridan. The police won't question everyone who was here at the time Teresa fell ill. And you were with her. D did you see anyone slip anything into her tea? No. There you go. Obviously, the police don't have to hold her because she has nothing to do with this. Oh, not so fast, miss. Did you see anyone around the victim who looked in any way suspicious? No. All right, but if you think of anything, anything at all that seemed out of the ordinary, we ask that you call us. Right, of course. I'll walk you out. Okay. You know, I don't blame you for wanting to get home to see the kids. And little Ethan, in particular. Will his father be there as well? I don't know. I don't really keep up with Julian's schedule, Gwen. No, I, I can't imagine that you do. Do it, Gwen. Do it now. No, no, not till Ethan gets back. What are you so smug about, Gwen? Oh, just the, uh, the thing that's gonna be your undoing. And it's not poison. It's the plain old unvarnished truth. And it's going to set Ethan free. Stay tuned for more Passions. Miss an episode? Watch Passions online anytime. Plus, read Paloma's blog only on NBC.com. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sport. Just making a little joke. Sure, I want the job. I mean, hey, man, man's got to make a living, don't he? Man's got to make a living. Who do you want dead? Who do you want me to whack? I want you to kill Miguel, and I want him dead tonight. You guys can stay as long as you need, but I need to get back to the office. Well, Valerie, I've always admired your devotion to work, but it is a bit late. I just want to be available in case Teresa needs me when she finds out about Luis. Uh. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Valerie, thank you for finding our son. Yeah, even though I didn't get to meet him. <laughs> of course. Just lock the door behind you when you leave. Yes. We will. You know, I just don't understand. Why would he run off before I got to meet him? I mean, is he afraid of me? I mean, you had a conversation with him. Can you think of any hint that might help us figure out where he's gone? No, nothing. All right, let's just, just take this from the beginning. What's his name? Wait, you don't even know his name? Well, it, it, everything happened so fast, and, and then it got emotional. I, I didn't even think to ask the basics. God, this is so frustrating. It's more frustrating than if I'd never gotten close. I bet I have another opportunity to meet him. I hope so, Julie. You said your conversation was... was emotional. He was, he was confused. I, he hasn't been in any trouble, has he? Why? What do you mean? Well, it's just what you said before about our son and Luis's innocence. It just, I don't know, got me to wonder that, I mean, he hasn't been in trouble with the law, spent time in jail, has he? I mean, he's not a serial killer, is he? <laughs> don't say anything, Mommy, or I'll have to kill you and Daddy both. Well, as usual, I don't know what you're talking about, Gwen. I told you. The whole truth and nothing but. And I would tell you now, but I want Ethan to hear it, too. Uh, how are you feeling now? Uh, actually, I'm a bit shaky. But, well, that's natural. 
Um, the cops have questioned everybody who was here at the time. Nobody saw anything unusual, but they're sending your teacup to the lab and they promised to report the results ASAP. Thanks. Thank you. Gwen, look, thanks again. If it weren't for you, Teresa might not have made it, actually. Uh, I've got to get to the prison. I promised yeah. Luis. Okay. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you just uh, tell him I love him and that I'm always thinking about him? Thanks. Of course. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, fancy? Mm hmm. Where, where's Jared? Oh, um, yeah, he was here. He told me to tell you he had to get to the office. <laughs> he had to get to the office when his wife almost died less than half an hour ago? Well, he said he had to take care of some things. He didn't leave until he knew you were all right. Okay. Thanks. Listen, I know you don't want to go to the hospital, but will you please let the ambulance take you no, home? No, I don't. I Teresa, don't need an Teresa, ambulance. Teresa, either or, make your choice. Okay, the ambulance. Good. I mean, do take care of yourself. You know, we really, we really couldn't take another scare like that. Why didn't you do it now? Ethan's back. It's perfect timing. Cool your jets, mother. There'll be plenty more opportunities besides teasing Teresa like this. It's way too much fun. Yeah, but I think you're making a huge mistake. I mean, you could have already destroyed her life. I mean, you said you wanted revenge. Oh, and I do. But haven't you heard? Revenge is a dish best served cold. I'm gonna get my revenge on you. Finally. I don't really care. I just want him dead. Oh no, he's going to kill Miguel.